Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to tie something I like to call the McMullet. So we're going to start today by getting our thread on. We're going to wrap all the way down to right about the, the bend of the hook here. Once we do that, we're going to take our first color. This is actually just going to be used for the tail. So this is about the right amount. Too much of this will not allow this to move um, as much. The thinner the piece that you use, the more movement this is going to give. And this is going to be the tail, so you want this to, you know, to move around in the water. So we're going to tie this on top of the hook shank. We're going to trim our excess. Okay, and for this, I want I want this about two times the length of the of the hook here. So you know, you got one, two. I'm gonna bring this up a bit, and we're gonna grab our next color material. Next color material is is uh, this tan color. It's like a silvery, you know, grayish tan. And we don't need a lot of this. We're just gonna take a few small little strands as you can see here very fine a lot less than we use for the tail I'm using very little of this okay and we are going to cut that in half we don't need all of it and then you want to just measure this out you want to make sure that you're not going past the hook uh, past the the tail so for the first one, it's a little tricky. You gotta, you gotta make sure you got the, the measurements right. But I like about basically two times the hook shank, so, or one times the hook shank. So, one, you know, times. Uh, this is two. Uh, the tail is two. So basically, you're tying in about half, half the length of the tail. Okay. So you want to make that, that measurement. Double it over on itself. Make sure you have that measured and then what we want to do is separate these five and lay it over the, the hook shank wrap it all the way around and then do a couple loose wraps so one two loose wraps and then we can go ahead and cinch that down what that does is it does even coverage throughout around the hook and then now make sure you either use a fine thread or watch your wraps. I, again, I, I only did two to cinch that down. You don't necessarily want to build up a lot of um, thread on the on the hook shank. So once you're done with that, you want to take the front and then evenly distribute it over the hook, but pull it back. Do two wraps. Okay. And we're going to do that again. Since you had cut that in half, you've got another piece. Um, you know roughly how much to cut off there, so um, separate, do the same exact thing, do two loose wraps, okay, then you're going to grab your crystal flash and you're basically going to do almost exactly the same thing. I like to grab quite a bit of it, so I'm grabbing four strands of crystal flash. So double it over on itself, cut it. Okay, then you're going to want to double it over once more and cut it. As you can see, that's about the same length as the as the fiber you were just tying in and you want to do pretty much the exact same thing with the crystal flash you want to try to evenly distribute it throughout the hook shank okay and you want to wrap as close as you can to the other wraps that that will flare this out and what that does is it beefs up the profile a bit um, and also try to force these crystal flash uh, 
strands through the fiber of uh, you know the, the the fiber strands, and then you want to double that over on itself. Okay, and you can see that's kind of flaring out there. Wrap up a few wraps up the hook shank, and then we're going to pretty much continue the same process we were doing with the fiber. And you can put a little more this time on the on the hook. We we can start building up a little bit more towards the head. Uh, you want to keep the back finer and the, the the top part of it a little little thicker. As you can see, that kind of flares with those crystal flash that will flare that out. I'm going to do that a couple more times. And once you start getting towards the head, you don't necessarily want to wrap over the the fiber. You want to make sure and just build a little dam at the end to hold that angle backwards. But as you can see, ah, sharp hooks. <laughs> as you can see, um, it kind of starts building up that head a bit more. Okay, we're going to do one more set. Uh, this time it's going to be a little thicker of a piece of this tan color. And then we're going to use dark brown. You can use about just about the same as we used last time for this this uh, tan color. Okay. We're going to do a loose wrap. Okay. Do the same thing, just dam up the front, don't My side always looks a little better because I'm looking at it. You can always readjust this later. Okay. And then we are going to whip finish. So to attach the eye, we're going to use something called zap goo this is basically it's it's a uh, um, super glue that's a little more like a gel kind of super glue um, and that will actually work a lot better than super glue uh, so it'll sit on top of these hairs a bit more and where I like to put the eye is more closer to the the head or the eye of the hook actually and so we put a little dab there of that zap glue, zap goo, and then see if I can do this with you guys seeing, just set that on top. Okay? Next, I'm going to put it on the other side. You really want to make sure you push that in. And then make sure you adjust your hairs to where you want it. Put a dot of this zap goo. Same thing on that side. Grab your eye. Just rest it on. Now don't push too hard on it. You want to adjust this now to match. You want to look at it from up above to make sure it's even. And then you want to look at it from straight to make sure it's even that way too. So kind of make sure it's even from both sides. Get as close as possible and then squeeze those two together. Okay, and as you can see that's, that's pretty even. That should be about dry. 
and then we're going to, I actually like taking this in steps, so I'm going to go ahead and just epoxy on the top part. I'm going to take my bodkin, and I like angling the hook back a little bit to make sure, especially on the top here, to make sure it kind of soaks into the fibers more. All right, so we want to evenly distribute this, and then you want to kind of cross over the eye just a little bit. Don't need a lot, just a little. And we'll kind of lock that in place. Let me take our UV curing light. And we want to go upside down with it and cure the and do the same to the other side. So what's going to happen is you don't want this, this is going to harden, so you don't want this to kind of block where the hook point is. So you want to kind of pull back on the fiber a bit. And then cure that into place. And that drops that cure a little bit to get out of the, the way of the hook point. Okay, and if your resin after you're done is not fully cured, a little tacky, you can actually set this in the sun. Make sure it's direct sunlight. Enjoy, guys. Go and uh, try this fly out, and I guarantee you'll catch some fish. Thanks.